Breaking overnight, hours long standoff outside of a home in Cranston is over. Police say the man at the center of it all took his own life after shooting at his wife and officers. No one else was hurt. Kristen Burnell joins us now live in Cranston with this new information from police. Well, good morning, Kate and Patrick. That standoff ended just after midnight after police were called to a home on Harding Avenue just after 8 o'clock last night. Now, the suspect has been identified as 69-year-old Neil Douglas. Cranston police say he was diagnosed with terminal cancer and was threatening to kill himself and his wife, who was able to escape to a neighbor's house and call 911. Four hours later, police then broke a window and sent a drone with a camera inside the home and saw Douglas dead surrounded by guns. There's a lot of mental um, health calls that we respond to. We've tried to um, address that through our crisis intervention team. So we go out with mental health clinicians all the time. We have officers that are specially trained to do that. So we are trying to address that. But in a situation like this, it happened very quickly. And again, when there's a firearm involved, um, it really escalates. Obviously, the family's distraught. We ask that you know you respect their privacy. Um, she is very fortunate, the wife, that she was able to escape unharmed tonight. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we'll hear how police use drones and other equipment to keep police from going inside the home. For now, reporting live in Cranston this morning, Krista Burnell, 12 News. Breaking overnight, hours long standoff outside of a home in Cranston has ended. One person is dead and police say uh, a woman was saved and so were police from gunshots. Kristen Burnell joins us live from the police department with the latest. Well, that standoff lasted more than four hours after police were call, called to a home on Harding Avenue just after 8 o'clock last night. Now, this is the scene when our 12 News crew first arrived shortly after that, where you can see several police departments responding. The suspect, 69-year-old Neil Douglas, was diagnosed with terminal cancer and was threatening to kill himself and his wife. Fortunately, she was able to escape to a neighbor's house and call 911. According to police, they tried to establish communication with Douglas and a attempted to call a cell phone that was inside the home, but he did not respond. Police then broke a window and sent a drone with a camera and saw Douglas dead surrounded by guns. Police say that type of equipment was extremely valuable in this type of situation, preventing officers from going inside the home. We had a lot of tools here so that we could minimize the risk. Um, you know, we don't know if the suspect was still inside, alive in arms. So we had to use a lot of precautions and that takes several hours of patience, planning and a lot of help from different departments and tools like drones that didn't exist or robots with cameras that can, you know, give live feedback to um, officers that are, um, you know, pre preparing to enter the house. The standoff did end just, just after midnight and luckily nobody else was hurt. Reporting live in Cranston this morning, Kristen Burnell, 12 News.